This is me before, during and after my race at the English Schools Nationals at Pontefract Horse Race Course up in Yorkshire. In this video, I'll go over my whole weekend from when I get on the coach all the way until I get home. So starting from when I got on the bus just after 10 o'clock, we then picked up the other half of the athletes from Barry at around 11. We stopped for lunch at half 12. Uh, I can't remember what service this is, um, but we had to get the Mackey D's wrap, obviously. Also had um, homemade sweet chili chicken pasta prior to that on the coach. My dad makes it, I love it. I have it for every race on the way to wherever the race is. We got back on the coach at around 10 past one. It was a 45 minute break. We were then on the coach for another two hours until we got to our hotel in Doncaster. Here's a little tour of the room. We got a lot of the old top gears. And then we somehow managed to change the language off the TV into Arabic. What a night. Yes, right. We're in the hotel room. You've seen it already. Just came back from a gentle jog around the lake. Yeah, that lake there. Don't know if you can see it. Yeah, they were done. Jill was basically my warm up for tomorrow race. Yeah, about to go to dinner. Uh, I'll see you afterwards. Headers and waited for dinner at around six o'clock. Here's my drink and my order card thingy. Obviously, chose the fish and chips. Absolutely demolished that. And here's my half of the dessert because I forgot to take a picture before. But it's a part of a Biscoff Sunday. Loved it too. After dinner, I had a nice steamy shower before going to bed at around nine o'clock. Nice and early. Head for breakfast too. Nice and early. Around half seven. Round one of breakfast was wheat, a bit plus honey, and a small apple juice. Round two was an apple juice refill with some pancakes with uh, chocolate spread on top. And a yogurt in the corner here. Don't forget the banana. Left at around quarter to nine, but the bus sat there for a bit until five past nine. Um, and we left the we left the hotel area, left Doncaster really, and we got to love the Snapchat motivation. We were allowed to go into Tesco's quickly to get anything we needed before heading to the race. I to get watermelon, my favourite fruit, of course. I love it. Why do you always look over? Finally got to the race course. Uh, I'll show some pictures and videos of the area now. Right, so now it's actually after my race. Walk through it, so the course was quite muddy, but sticking to the edges gave me that extra edge compared to people running in the mud. My race was actually quite short compared to others I've been used to running the whole season. Quite a nice change, not gonna lie. It consisted of two loops, about 1,500 meters each, I'd say, with the rest being the uh, start and finishing lengths of the, obviously, they're separate to the loops. Uh, I kept it quite relaxed during the first loop and even the start, but pushed more on the second lap quite early, but it wasn't your stereotypical image of a kick in running pace. It worked quite well, I'd say, gained over 20 places in that last lap. Feeling quite drained after this too, but I feel like I could have rose that pace higher or rose earlier or hired my overall relaxed pace, as I may say. I'll take all my line in my stride. Came 66. Um, here's my number on the screen. Uh, thanks for the whole Suffolk team and organisers who were involved. Um, in the next part, I'll go over my post race. What was I about to say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry for that. But, um, yeah, I'm really, my aim for the future is. Next year, getting to that same race, but the year down. Hopefully I can get it. And our track season coming, really working hard for that 4, 13, 1500 time. I really want that though. I really want that track time. I want to go to track and field English schools. I've never put in this much work into running before. But David Goggins' motivation is helping me. Right, now on to after the race. We have to cop the sweatshirt, obviously. Say that I've been there. Uh, it was quite a long trek to the car though. It was like a half an hour walk. Crazy. Uh, we left in the car just after two o'clock. We actually met my dad's side of the family as they live up up this way in the north. Went to Pontefract Castle, hoping to eat in the cafe. But it was closed, of course. So instead, uh, compromised. 
we at a KFC in the services. Uh, we now headed straight home. Got home at around quarter to eight. Fully relaxed at ten past eight. Apparently, you gotta see the dogs when you get home. Right, so I thought I'd add a little extra section on the end just to cover a few things that I might have missed out for fun or I actually just forgot to miss out. Um, number one, some of us lads decided to put the girls face paint on their arms. I'll put the pictures on long now. Uh, got a wreck the suffer colours, even though I, I missed, I forgot to put the blue on. But the white still looks good. Second, there'll be a video of the start. But before I play it, this is the last thing you'll see in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you for making this far. You're amazing. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I'll get into track season. Um, check out my channel now for past content on other races. All my other content, I do more stuff as well. I've been just running. And finally, man, I'll play the chaotic. Chaotic to watch. Start.